train hound. How are you doing? I don't know why she swayed that fly. Perhaps she'll die. I know an old lady <laughs> who swallowed a spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. <laughs> she swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed that fly. <laughs> Perhaps she'll die. The kid is a natural. It must have been all that music you played at my stomach while I was pregnant. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Radio City Music Hall is proud to present Coltrane, Gershwin, Allen. <laughs> Mr. Holland. It has come to my attention that you are teaching the students rock and roll. Is this a problem? Is this a problem? Yes, I think so. Our only job is to teach. We cannot teach and the students cannot learn if there is no discipline. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, what exactly is your point, Jean? My point is rock and roll by its very nature leads to a breakdown in discipline. Well, what would you like me to do? Uh, deny that rock and roll exists? What I am, what we are saying is that you should be pushing the classics. Brahms, Mozart, Stravinsky. <laughs> Stravinsky was the music of the Russian Revolution if you want to talk about a breakdown in discipline. You are deliberately exaggerating. How about the Kingston Trio, Gene? How about Sting Along With Mitch? Oh, Those are really Just a minute, gentlemen. Mr. Holland. I do not want to interfere in the curriculum of any teacher. But next week, I have a meeting with the school board. And there are people in this community who believe that rock and roll is a message sent from the devil himself. Now, when that issue comes up, what can I tell them? Mrs. Jacobs, you tell them that I am teaching music and that I will use anything from Beethoven to Billie Holiday to rock and roll if I think it'll help me teach a student to love music. That's a reasonable answer, Mr. Holland. I can tell them that. Was there something else? Yes. Um, have you been to any of the football games this season, Mr. Holland? I can't say that I have, no. Well, Mrs. Jacobs and I feel that there's something missing. Touchdowns. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you know about marching bands? Pardon me? Four, three, two. Drums and sousaphones. Come on, line up here. Sousaphones on either side. And baritones and, and saxes here, third line. Put your shirt tail in. This isn't a dance, it looks like a party dress. Get it in. <laughs> Let's, let's do it a little quicker, you know? We don't want to be here till it's dark. Now, we're not... 
We're not even. I'd like to make some attempt to, um, can you even up here? Can you, like, even this? Do you understand what I'm saying when I say even up? Line up. There you go. All right, all right. Take care of even some next time. Get over here! They're over there! You're over here! What are you doing? Sorry, Coach. Are you trying to kill me? Watch my hand, okay? One, two, three. March. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. No, no, no. Left. Right, left, right, left, right. John, right, let, let him take left, a knee. Right. No, 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 we're clumping. You're clumping up. No, 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 people, spread out. I want you to spread. Spread out, spread, and turn. Turn around and keep marching. Keep marching. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left. Take a knee. All right, start running. Hats on. And don't stop to hear this whistle. Glenn. Glenn. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I take it you were never in the army. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a stupid question. I was. Man, I marched my keister off. Well, then help me out. OK. You see this kid up in the stands here? That's Lou Russ. He was the greatest halfback this school ever had. And I had to toss him off the team because of his grades. And now I'm about to lose him for wrestling if I don't get him up. Bill, what are we talking about? What do you want me to do? Take his tests for him? No. But I bet if he played in your band, I could talk Jacobs into giving him an academic credit. And then I'll help you out here. What instrument does he play? He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't play anything. <laughs> what, are you kidding? <laughs> no, he'll fit right in. <laughs> Glenn, listen. You get him to play anything, and I'll get them to march. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Coach Meister, your marching buddy. You know anything at all about music, Mr. Russ? No, sir, Coach. You don't have to say sir. I'm not a coach, so Mr. Holland is just fine. Sorry, sir. I, I mean, Mr. Holland. Don't apologize. You haven't done anything yet. Um, you know how to read music even a little? No. No. Well, you do realize that you're going to have to learn at least some of the fundamentals of music before you can get into the band. Listen, Mr. Holland, I work hard. I know how to work hard. I'm just not a school type of person. OK. Well, which instrument do you think you'd like to play? Well, I was kind of thinking, like, how about electric guitar? Well, this is a marching band. The extension cord would kill us. How about the tuba? Tubas are for fat guys with pimples. Well, given the time constraints, how do drums strike you? 